You're watching Taste the Victory. Hey guys, welcome back to Taste the Victory. And today we have a really cool opportunity that's a little bit different than usual. I have been sent two boxes of the new My Hero Academia set to TCG from Legendary Wolf Games to open for you guys here on the channel. So Legendary Wolf Games is an LGS that is trying to do a real big push to support this game and it's really cool. They've had events with the actual voice actor Chris Sabat there to actually come out there and meet the fans. That's so awesome. And it's really funny too because like when they sent that I'm like that sounds familiar and it turns out I have like tons of friends um, through Digimon like that's their locals where they go to for Digimon. So a lot of people vouch for them like this shop is really cool. The owners there are all really nice. I'm like wow that's awesome and a huge coincidence. And that's, that's only after the fact too, so it's really hilarious that ended up happening. It's such a small world, uh, TCGs. So uh, there is timestamps in the video. You can go ahead and click there to um, get to the actual box opening video. But I just want to say real quick before we start, uh, this is uh, amazing. And I want to say a really big thank you to Legendary Wolf Games. They do sell the game online, so you can go to their website to check it out if you don't have an LGS of your own carrying the game. And um, I just want to say thank you again because like this is so humbling because like, uh, I'm a nobody. <laughs> There's 3,000 subs on the channel, sure, but at the end of the day, it's like still, in the grand scheme of things, I'm a nobody. Um, I'm doing this for fun, so to think that people are out here like, hey, can we reach out? Like, this is a game you're already interested in and looking at. Uh, I think it'd be great for you to promote it. Like, that's amazing, and it's just really humbling. So, like, sincerely, thank you for that opportunity. It's really amazing. So this is definitely a game that I have been um, looking at because I have friends from Digimon that play this. They've been talking to me about it. And I do know about uni Universal Versus System. I think it used to be Universal Fight System, but now it's been rebranded to uh, Universes. So I do know about the game because I used to be a gigantic uh, fighting game fan. So I love that they have sets for like Mega Man, Darkstalkers of all things, and Street Fighter, you know, it's really awesome, King of Fighters. So I've always eyed the game and I've been looking at my hero um, from a distance. But yeah, now I, I've been meaning to check it out, so now I have a really good opportunity. Like, I um, looked, I brushed up on all the rules of Universes since it's been forever since I've actually toyed with it. Um, I brushed up on the actual lore for this set and stuff like that, so this is really cool. This is set to Crimson Rampage, and it introduces the villains as one of the main themes of this new set. So, like, Stein is in there and all that stuff, and it's really cool. So, full disclaimer, I am just a super casual fan of My Hero Academia. Like, I, I have not seen much of the show. I've seen, like, an episode and tons of clips from the fight scenes and memes and stuff like that. So I have friends that are really into it. I have friends that are fans of anime arena fighters that are really into the video games and stuff like that. So I tangently know about it. I've just never done a deep dive into it. So I think this is a really awesome opportunity for me to finally make that jump into the series. So while I'm opening up this first box here, this cool thing about this game is that the rarities, you have your normal ultra rare, super rares and all that. But then you also get these extra rares, which is like a rarity on top of the super rare or secret rare or whatever with like extra graphics. I believe it's kanji's like little things on them like that and an extra foiling. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and open this box up and we get a little dash pack and we get our box topper promo. So let's go ahead and set that up nicely. And now we see that we have here the quirk pack and a promo card. And this one from what I've been researching is really good, like sweet. This is a great one because Back Alley Haymaker, that's kind of a tongue twister if you ask me, is actually one of the good attack cards in this game for uh, the competitive scene of it. Which from what I understand, they have like a $250,000 total cumulative prize pool for the competitive scene. So that's really awesome. This game's only like, is it even a year old? I don't even think a year old, right? So it's really awesome to see that the devs are going all in on something like that. Really always appreciate to see that. So this is our XR box topper and box topper. And then we got two quirk packs, which are two promo cards. Let's go ahead and, um, yeah, let's go ahead and open those up. Now I was wondering if we just save that for the end and like pile up since we have two boxes here, we can just like pile up all our quirk packs and do a quick opening like that. Oh, I gotta get better opening packs. But yeah, let's see what we got here first. So we got, ooh, we got Igneum. So Igneum, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, unfortunately. Like I said, I've only seen like so much of the series through like, uh, through clips and through Twitter memes, a couple, like one first episode. So I'm not too familiar with this guy, but I love the foiling on this car. That looks really nice. I hope that shows well. I love that with a little action lines. So that is going to be our first quirk pack. We're going to go ahead and open the second one up. Ooh, nice. And our second one is going to be Sugar, it's going to be Sugar Rush Power Up. Ooh, nice. So I have not heard too much about this car, so I'm not too sure how it works as a promo, but it looks really cool. All right, sweet. So let's go ahead and start opening up these packs. Nice, it's gonna be really fun because like I, this is my first time opening the game. Like I said, I've had friends that play it, so I know about it. I've like heard about it tangentially, but like this is gonna be like the actual first time. So we're hoping to pull a secret rare, hoping to pull some good pulls here. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start by um, looking at the cards. So we got Wire Arrow, 
We got Wire Arrow. I love the huge boots there for her her design. Like, that's hilarious. Because, like, uh, from what I understand, the creator of My Hero Academia is a huge Mega Man fan. Or at least, like, he is a Mega Man fan. Because, like, there's references to Mega Man X in the manga. So that's really cool. And then, like, um, Uraraka, I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that wrong, is also, like, a fan of... of or rather, Uraraka's design, like her legs are clearly like Mega Man inspired. Then we've got Off Guard Punch. I love the names of the attacks because it's like Back Alley Haymaker, Left Hook, Jab, stuff like that. Like, I love that um, when looking up the history of this game, like how to get ready for the TCG. I love that the attacks are just like that. So we got Copy Hardens. Add one foundation to your stage, to your hand. This attack gets plus three damage. That sounds pretty decent. Four costs though, so like not too bad if you hit it in the first zone from what i understand because that's plus zero instead of the plus one that you get for as you go Ooh, we got nice slice so i know she's a really popular character i've seen her around for a bunch now and then we got training with gunhead that's awesome this is just a guy named gunhead here i love the design there the, i was mentioning raraka like the legs the feet design like is very Mega Man inspired with like in terms of like how huge the metal parts are then we got mall day that's really cute i love that they have like fun like slice of life moments they get to do stuff like that Let's go ahead and change the zoom so that the cards get a better look at them. So that's much better. We get to get a much better picture of them. Then after that, we got Hellflame Javelin. So this is good, another attack card. Enhanced. That's pretty nice. I only want to block. Then we got Go for the Win. So actually, let's move the box out of the way back here since I think the camera is trying to focus on it. So let's just focus on the cards for now. Go for the Win. We got a Deku card. So that's pretty cool. Um, this, uh, so I believe. There we go for that. And then we got, ooh, Tetsui Fist. So this is a rare. So this is a rare for the pack. So, really cool art there. I like the foiling again. I, I always love like foiling on like the actual let numbers and like lettering and stuff in addition to just the um like the whole card going foil. Cause like Digimon switched over to, um, if you're watching this and, and are not a regular of the channel, I mainly play Digimon and stuff on here. Like Digimon used to have gold rares and they switched over to foiling because like the gold rare would show up on the back of the card, which was becoming a huge headache for competitive play and requiring them to like not use opaque sleeves and stuff like that. So unfortunately they had to get rid of the gold lettering and I really miss that and that's what I really like about uh, seeing that just now. So we go through the other cards. Oh cool, here we got go going out to fight some villains. <laughs> I love the art there too. Like that's what I was saying, like another thing too, like very Mega Man inspired in his in his hands and like his legs, like that's really neat. There we go. Cards are back in focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, falling thruster kick. Nice, that's really cool. I know this dude is popular, he's pretty cool. And we got making stand enhanced flip your rival card discard one momentum your stun attack gets plus one damage for its other enhanced so i know this guy's archetype in in not in this set because i think it's already in the game but his archetype is insanely good because it just does a bunch of stuff for free and stuns your board as well while like also attacking like it's really really insane from what i'm like brushing up on because yeah like to be fair i've only like known this game tangentially so i'm not too familiar with everything but like from what i, I was researching to get ready for this box opening because it does look like a game i want to try i've been watching gameplay and stuff uh he seems really insane we got Zoom for a Foundation card, really nice art there. A lot of like anime screenshots, so that's cool for fans of it if they want, if they're like familiar with the scenes and want to see their favorite scenes represented. Calvary Chariot Advance, that's a really interesting card there right here. While this card is in your card pool, your other attacks get plus one speed. So that's really awesome to make it harder for cards to be blocked. I like that uh, as an ability. Ooh, then we got Dobby. Now, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong, since a lot of these characters I've only like seen like through clips and fan art and stuff like that, so I'm not too sure of like how to actually pronounce them. We're getting to the end of this pack, so let's see if we get something. Oh man, it's awesome, any means necessary. That was such an insane fight in the anime. I, I loved that, and that was so cool to see that represented. Like, that's pretty brutal for a card art. I, from what I understand, this card's pretty decent. I, I wasn't too sure. I was brushing up on the new set in terms of like competitive, but I'm sure we're all just here for like the card opening and stuff like that. And then we get another rare, and this one is oh awesome. Speaking of the fight that was just there, the animation in this fight is seriously gorgeous. Like my god, this scene was so cool. Definitely awesome to represent that as a as a rare in the game. Cinder Convection. Cinder Convection, that's amazing, I love that. Man, I, I hope we can pull that as an XR just for the extra foiling on that, because that scene deserves to be highlighted up like that. So I guess we could go a little bit faster through the uh, commons now, since we got two boxes to open. Who knows how long we're gonna be here. Uh, don't, don't want to keep you guys here too long, and we're here to appreciate the cards after all. Let's go ahead, I gotta get better at opening these packs, that's definitely a weakness of mine. So we got some Bakugo cards. So we got, let's see if we can get it to focus. We got some Bakugo cards. We got Self Propulsion. Then we got Creeping Vine Eruption. Pretty nice. I love that. Ooh, what a cool setting. Resting Between Bows. I love that. And that's a foundation card. That makes a lot of sense. You know, that's where your like, foundation, your tools are. You have to commit stuff to. So I, I like that representing in a foundation card. Really nice art. I love the dude just chilling. 
Then we got Double Blade Slash. Ooh, I well, love this guy's design. It's really sick. Enhance, lose one health. And then we got, yeah, we got the effects there. Rebels checks, block it, attack minus one. Enhance, this attack is blocked. Dude. So I have a vague understanding of the game. Like, I know how to play through it. I, I've, I've been a fan of Universes Tangently before. Ice gliding is pretty neat. So I, I have a faint idea, but unfortunately, I'm not sure, like, in terms of competitive, how good, like, these things are. But looking at the card art, it's really nice. And I, I love the bordering, I love everything. The cards feel so alive. I really like that looking at this from what I'm seeing. Ooh, we got Grand Torino in the character card, I believe. This is awesome. And after that, we got, ooh, we got another Any Means Necessary. So that's a good card. I'm just starting to get close to a place out of this, so that's really dope. Cheerful Uppercut, cool. And then, oh, this is our rare, right? So there's something in the back. So is that uh, something higher? Then we got, ooh, we got an XR, sweet. Finishing Blast. Oh, it's trying to focus on my fingers. Ooh, nice, XR. Nice. And comparing that to the rare we got, you can see, I hope it shows up well. There's like extra foiling to it. Like you see there around the explosion, there's stuff that isn't really there. For the rare, it seems to just be like the actual like mechanical pieces and the text that's, um, the text of them that is uh, foiled. So that's really sick. Finishing blast. Hopefully, so I'm not too sure like how like a, of a viable card this is. I'm not, I'm not sure about the competitive nature of it. Especially since like a lot of the stuff for competitive upset two right now seems to be speculation. All right, so then we got, so we'll wait for the cards to focus. We got Half Hot Ignition, sick art there, I love it. That's the cool thing about like the one advantage of like anime screenshots is you get some really already cool and iconic art to put in there. Challenging the fakes, whoa, that is awesome. So I don't, I don't know the story about that, but that art is sick, I love that. Enhance, what is this attack? It's one flame damage. If it is not blocked, you arrive the next check to play because it's in attack plus two. Failing that check is not, ooh, failing the check is not in the combat phase. So that seems, so I don't know how huge of that is, but like just like trying to get used to the game, that seems like it's such a huge thing. So it's really cool to see you have something that like could potentially turn that off for you. Ooh, now we got Rooftop Vantage. I like the art there. Enhance, flip, look at the top card of your rival's deck. That's interesting. So I'm wondering if that's like, if you want to like, judge what you're gonna do next. Like if you're gonna play down another card or just start to commit or something like that. Next we got Net Gun Surprise. I love all the gear on that character. They're really cool, so that's awesome there. Oh my God, first impressions, what the? I'm assuming this is like a fake out scene in the anime? Like is there spoilers in this in set two? Flip, if this is your first attack in common phase, it gets plus your damage if it is blocked next attack. That sounds really good. Um, foundation for two though, I don't, I don't know how common that is. And usually they're like zero and one from what I'm seeing run in decks. First enhanced, uh, this must be the first enhanced you played during the enhanced step. Interesting. That's, that's shocking. I'm assuming that's like a fake out. Yeah, and that's really funny. Is that intentional? Small and limber? I'm assuming like he walked in there like that, got scared. And he's like, what the hell? Oh, you're fine. Like, I'm assuming that's what's going on there. That's really cute if that's the case. After that, we got another goal for the win. Deku trying to get there. Ooh, we got a character card again, Hanata Sero. So the cool thing about universes, uh, the character cards determine your hand uh, size limit and your health. So that's really interesting there. And then we got for our rare, it's gonna be final exam, gut punch. Oh, that's nice. So we got All Might there giving them the final exam in the episode. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Uh, I love, like I said earlier, I love that the, like the attacks in this game are stuff like jab, haymaker, gut punch. Like that's really hilarious to me. I, I love that. And then after that, we got our next pack opening here. We'll see if we get start pull some like get it like like the ultra rare, super rares. Get some um, get some secret rares even. Holy, got dark shadow dive. Ooh, I like that. Especially as an attack. Oh no, it's this dude. This dude's like a huge meme, isn't he? Surviving the final. This dude like people hate this guy. He's just like this ugly meme dude. It's so funny. Like I, I don't know anything about the character, but I love how mad he gets people, and it's really really funny. Oh, this is sick league interview. Your next check to get an attack is plus one. And then re response flip, after you make a check to block, that check gets plus one. Interesting card there, the two foundation. We got another copy hard and we pulled that earlier. After that, we got intimidating presence. Ooh, pretty neat. Oh, we got that dude there then. And then, so that's pretty neat. So that's a one cost foundation there, an interesting art. Ooh, it's nice. We got a Bakugo card. That's sick as a character card. Hand size of seven at the cost of 20 health compared to the 26 we've been seeing in the other character cards. That's really interesting. He's a pretty popular dude. It looks like we, uh, oh, so we're gonna get a rare in this. So we got struggling with studies, man. I know there, I've been through college. I feel that. We got a grape rush as a rare for our attack. So um, I, I vaguely remember seeing some interest for this card. Like it might, it's actually a pretty good card. Let's go ahead and separate our rares. So we got a pile of them uh, for the end of the video to just go ahead and show off. And that was that one there. So we got a pile of commons there. We'll be setting to the side. But like some of this is really cool because like yeah like I don't know uh that deep into my hero it's like like if you ask like a Dragon Ball fan to open Dragon Ball cards um but they only like watch the anime it's kind of like where I'm at in terms of like my academia so this is really fun just looking at them getting to know them that's the cool thing about being introduced like even if you didn't see like the actual anime and stuff being introduced to that medium 
or rather being introduced to a show through a different medium is really fun because you get to like explore all this new stuff and learn as you go along the way. I love their design on this one, floating around my babies. <laughs> I don't know the context, but I love this. I'm assuming her babies is like her tech and she like really loves her gear and stuff like that. Then we got full power clash. Nice. I love the intensity of the art there. Uh, then we got enhanced. So we got there, we got fury, powerful punch too. So that's really sick there. We got tutoring Kirishima. Tutoring Kirishima, nice there. Oh, we got another nice slice. I'm not sure how good of an attack card that is, but it's always cool to see a uh, nice art like that represented on the characters. Pinky, choosing a hero name. Oh, there we go. That's, that's always a hard decision. Detonation Launcher. Bakugo has the coolest attack cards in this game from what I've seen. This is so sick. After that, let's not spoil anything. After that, we got Leaping Right Hook. I love that. Like, Leaping Right Hook. The attack names in this game are so, so cool. Forcing Surrender. We got a little... Foundation card here again, a one cost response flip after you play a combo ability. You're always I, uh, this game is definitely cool. I'm really interested. Like, I'm hoping I have. I don't know the game too well, so I don't know if like two boxes is enough to build. <gasps> Whoa! Yo! This is, oh, we got a super rare, right? This is the secret rare, isn't it? Isn't this one of the secret rares? Yo! Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh! Oh, we gotta sing that up immediately! Oh! Oh my god! See, I I'm confused, like, I'm, there's, there's like a little pause right there, like, if you notice, I'm pausing, because, like, the rarity at the bottom, here it says SR, so hopefully it, it focuses so you guys can see that. Okay, so it focused, and if you see there, towards the bottom right, kind of more towards the middle, it says SR, so in other games, especially Digimon, since that's my main game, I'm used to that meaning, um, Seeker Rare, so uh, I was confused, as I was, so, like, if you notice the pause, it's just because, like, wait, wait, is this Super Rare or Seeker Rare? But, like, I remember, like, looking up the cards before, like, this is a Seeker Rare, holy crap, let's go, boys! Seeker Rare, let's get it! Oh, we got so lucky in our first pull, let's go, that's so sick! Oh my god, so like, yeah, I'm not I'm not too familiar with everything with like values off the top of my head. I did do some research beforehand, so like, this is awesome at the very least that it's a secret rare. But um, I will do research afterwards. I will double check everything afterwards to put prices on screen if you guys are like uh, a fan of that. So that that is so sick. Oh my god, we actually did it. We're not even that far into the box. We got a secret rare. This is awesome. Oh my god, sick. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Definitely sleep that bad boy. Set that aside. I'm gonna go through the rest of the box and see how that goes. Man, I gotta be more careful with these uh, pack openings. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. All right, so we go through the rest of them. We got another Creeping Vine Eruption. We got, ooh, Ambush Tactics. Nice, get her Uraraka, or get him Uraraka. But we got Acid Chop, sick, I love that. We got Training with Gunhead again. I love Gunhead's design just off of his card, it's hilarious. Then we got uh, Ricochet Charge, interesting. Deku fighting for his life. <laughs> then we got Evade and Copy. Ooh. So when you attempt to block with this card, you turn your rival's attack to print his speed and zone. Interesting. So that's that's the Evade part, I'm assuming. And then Monoma Enhance. Once per turn, this foundation gains all enhanced abilities printed on one unique rival. I love that because it's Evade and Copy. I love the flavor and how well that is represented to gameplay. That is awesome. We got another Health Flame Javelin. I do believe this is like in our first pack. Maybe it was our second one. Another Forcing Surrender. We got Mid Match Advertisement. And then for our rare. Ooh, this is a cool one. No, this is an Ultra Rare. Oh, sick. Sinister Paralyzation. Oh my god, that's dope, dude. And this is right after our um, Secret Rare. This is sick. This dude looks really sick. This dude looks really cool too. I like his design a lot. This is the guy the the that we were getting uh, attack options for earlier, weren't we too? This is amazing. Ooh, love the foiling on the ultra. It's really nice. So enhance if so. Hopefully uh, that focuses for you guys soon. Enhance if your rival has taken damage this game, seal one rival asset or foundation, and then combo enhance if your rival checks a printed fiber higher to block his attack, they recheck. Oh man, that is that seems like a second one seems really good and for only a four cost from what I understand Please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm definitely not an expert in this But that seems like a really solid attack target But I guess it, it all comes down to how good the actual like heroes archetype is as well too, right? So this is a really combo heavy game because universes as you could tell by if you could guess by the sets I mentioned earlier Street Fighter, Darkstalkers, uh, King of Fighters. This is a very fighting game expired like here we have high mid and low attacks and then blocks and you have to like do the corresponding block so it's inspired very heavily and tries to really uh, re uh, replicate fighting games to a tabletop setting and that's someone who loves fighting games that is really cool but honestly like there is so much in this game to like get accustomed to because of that like once you get a hold of all oh we got nato so once you get a hold of all the mechanics it, it does flow pretty easily but like at first it's definitely like intimidating there's so much you have to remember so like like the blocking stuff the 
foundation, like the actual board of the game, like plus one, plus two, plus three, it's actually like a lot to take care of. So after that, we're gonna go to our rare, or do we get a better one? Nope, we got, ooh, we got another Bat Alley Haymaker. So again, this is a good card for competitive play from what I understand, it's really strong. So let's go ahead and read it, actually. I don't believe I actually went over why. So enhance, draw one card, or build one foundation with a printed difficulty of zero from your discard pile. Ooh, so does this game have a lot of recursion? Like, is there just not a lot of recursion? And that ability to be able to like expand your board state while also uh, reviving from the discard pile, is that like a really strong ability in this game? So for some reason, that one is not uh, liking the traditional way of opening, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the little flap they have on the side. They appreciate the Digimon and um, and this game do that little flap thing to make it a little easier to open packs. Ooh, so we got another cool card here. We got Resting Between Rounds, the one we pulled earlier. I really like that a lot. We got Falling Thruster Kick. Ooh, Challenging the Fakes. Ooh, what is this? Shrapnel Cloud Release. That's interesting. Response, after this attack is blocked, the rival commits one foundation. Oh, cool, so that's you force them to commit. Cool, so you force them to commit, um, Cool, so you force them to commit um, resources they don't want to, but for a five cost, I don't know, like, I mean, how much damage is that doing? Seven, and then first impression, that card scared, that, game, that card gave me quite the first impression. We got another nice life. I hope we get her attack option. From what I understand, um, Hungry for Blood is really good. Yo, we pulled Stain. Wow, this dude's really un only an uncommon. I thought Stain was like really popular dude for a villain. That's pretty sick, I'm glad we got that. Ooh, Leaping Right Hooks. So we got another one of Deku's options. That's pretty sick. And for our... Oh, this is not a rare. We got Hardest Performance Guaranteed. I love this, dude. I love these, like... It's, like, reminds me so much of a wrestling character. Like, the sniveling heel who thinks he's all that. I love this dude's character. It's really hilarious. Ooh, we got another Ultra Rare. Let's go. We got... Ooh, Searing Glacial Storm. Man, that that is sick. Oh, I hope the foiling comes across well. Especially since, like, the natural lighting is starting to, like, dissipate a little bit. Hopefully, like, it still comes up well. That's sick. We gotta sleeve that ultra rare for sure. That is amazing. We're gonna go ahead and put that in our sleeve pile. After that, we go to our next pack. I don't know. Uh, is anyone keeping track of how many packs we've gone through? I'm not sure how many we are at, so I don't know how close we are to this one box. And we still got a whole second one, so... I guess we gotta do it a little bit faster now. Also, so we got a new card we haven't seen yet. I'm assuming we're gonna start getting really close to repeat soon since we have like so many of these. Let's go ahead and hope this focuses. All right, cool. So we got Piercing Descent. Awesome, another attack card. Going out to, so that's the one we've seen before. <laughs> I love it. I'm floating around my babies just for the, the art and the name. Ice Gliding, pretty sick. Ooh, Detonation Launcher, another cool Bakugo attack that we pulled earlier. Evade and Copy, I really like the flavor on this card. Small and limber, enhance, commit your charge, fury, or kick, attack at plus one speed. Yeah, I guess that represents. Ooh, we got Himiko! Himiko Toga. Okay, so Toga, that's her name. I'm sorry I didn't remember it earlier. So I, I don't, yeah, I did not remember her name off the top of my head because of the, um, because I mostly just see her like through clips and stuff, I like Twitter. She's huge and popular among the anime community. So that's where um, I'm familiar with them since I haven't watched much of the show. I've only seen like, like an episode. And then after that, we got, oh, so this is a, uh, so this is our rare for the set. Uh, for the pack, Fate's Shield. Oh, that's really cool. So this is a plant girl from earlier, right? Remove after your block. So that's pretty cool. So rare. How good is a rare foundation? Response, remove after your block with this card. This attack deals no damage. This attack after it resolves. Enhance, destroy this charge or stun attack. This charge or stun attack is minus two damage. Interesting. It's pretty cool rare. Let's go ahead and set that aside from our common and uncommon pile. Let's get to the next pack. Sick. Half Hot Ignition. That's a pretty cool one. After that, ooh, Graceful Maneuvers. So from what I understand, this card is good. This is gonna be like an excited, anticipated one in competitive. Enhance, commit, this attack is minus two speed. This attack is minus one speed for each card in your card pool. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. From, from the basics that I understand, and it really is just the basics that I understand. It seems like it'd be strong. Overhead Reversal, cool, I like that. Enhance, build one foundation with a printed difficulty or zero from your discard pile, it's committed. Interesting. After that, we got another copy of Invade and Copy. Hopefully it's a good card, since we've got like, what, three copies of it? Downward Frost Spike, interesting. After that, we've got, oh nice, we got Hottest Performance Guarantee. I love this dude. I love that whole archetype. Oh, she's so cool. Ibarra Shiozaki, I love her design. Really reminds me of Palutena from, um, from Kid Icarus. I love that. Then we got Struggling with Studies again. And then what do we have here? Do we got, oh, we got a rare. Fusion, <laughs> what? Commit your X or Kick Attack gets plus two. Enhance, commit your X or Kick Attack gets plus two speed. Enhance, commit your Rival's Attack gets minus two speed. Ah, it gets minus speed. Cool, well, that's definitely interesting. So we got next pack. All right, so let's keep it going. Next pack, baby. We got Battle Resolve. Ooh, I love that. I love the intensity that the anime tosses into the card games because of that. Acid Chop, so that's a card we pulled earlier. Nice one there. 
So that we got ambush tactics. That's another repeat. Pretty cool. Ooh, manly friendship. I love this. It reminds me of that uh, meme from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, uh, where the two burly dudes are like shaking hands. We get that awesome handshake. I love that. That's an awesome card. I like how that's the first thing it reminds me of. Instead of the like Arnold Schwarzenegger um, scene in, in Predator, the famous meme with the handshake. That's awesome either way. Training with Gunhead. Mall Day. I love the Leisure episodes. It's so fun. And we got another attack we pulled earlier. Ooh, we got Mei Hatsume. Well, let's see what we pull after her. And then it's gonna, ooh, another ultra rare, sick. Howitzer Impact Cyclone, sweet. Another ultra rare attack card. That is beautiful in the spoiling. Oh, I love that. I love how it glistens across it. It's really appropriate for an explosion. So that's sick. Hopefully that shows up well on the, on the screen for you guys. Nice, I love it, love it. Awesome ultra rare. We got Dark Shadow Dive once again. Ooh, we got Self Propulsion. We haven't seen that one in a bit. Ooh, Full Power Clash. That's a new one. Really nice there. Okay, so that's a nice Becky card. I think we've seen it before. It looks vaguely familiar. We got Lee in Diffuse. That's a pretty cool one. And then we got, ooh, Shrapnel Cloud Release. So that's one we pulled earlier. Pretty nice. Oh, that's a new one. Travel by Tape. That's pretty funny. Is that his power? He just shoots out tape? It's like some bootleg Spider Man. That's hilarious. And next up is Successful Sales Pitch. So that's fun. Commit after your attack gets damage, deals damage, and he wants off the card. Your I want to card. That's a pretty fun card. I like that. Then we got, ooh, Hero Killer. Ooh, Hero Killer Stein is pretty sick. After that, we got, ooh, oh, so this is an XR. Cool. So we got an upgrade of first impressions. So that's what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. As you notice, we pulled a bunch of like regular low rarity of this card, and now every card has a chance to be up. Well, I don't know about every card, but I know a lot of cards have a chance to be upgraded to the XR rarity. And this is probably, is this our first example of our? of an XR being like a, a card that is normally not foiled and now it is foiled, so that's really good. Okie dokie, on to the next pack, which seems to be giving me trouble here. Brutal Explosion, another Bakugo card. I do believe this is a new card we haven't pulled yet. Ooh, Making a Stand, Battle Resolve, Overhead Reversal again. Double Blade Slash, that's one we haven't seen in a while. Ooh, high value target. Oh no, is Daku like is everyone mad at him? When committing cards to pass a check to play a block, this card counts as two foundations. Oh wow, that's not pretty good. Response before one of your foundations will be destroyed to survival effect, destroy this foundation. Like, nice, so you get like extra resources and decoy oh, decoy from destruction basically. That seems like it's probably gonna be really good for only one cost. We got another goal for the win. Drowning in resentment. <laughs> I love that. That's a really funny card. Ooh, so is this our Oh! So we got a rare. We got that's so something's back there that's higher rarity, so this is always fun. So you got ready, set, ready, get set, go. Ooh, remove, form, remove, draw one card, response to your rival place with their fourth foundation this turn. Deal up to two from I wonder how situational that is, or if that's like really good. Because if that's like for the turn or like across the game, I'm, I'm not too sure. That seems like that would vary for a four cost. I'm not sure how good that would be. Then we got, ooh, we got an XR overhead reversal. Oh, oh man, the the sh the uh rarity, the extra like. The extra foiling really shows off here on the sides on this card more than it did on that um, Bakugo attack that we got earlier. So this is really, ooh, I love that. It really goes, because it goes with the like the like skin action lines that it, like the wind effect, it, it goes along with it. So that's pretty fun. I like this as an XR, it's a really fun one. So gonna go ahead and sleeve that up as XRs are always cool. No idea if this card is good to be honest. This is not one I saw like a lot of hype and discussion about when trying to research the new set. In terms of competitive, and I don't know, maybe maybe you guys aren't here for competitive. Maybe it's just like, oh, I want to see some card packs being open. So you're not too concerned about that. And I mean, that's fair too. But uh, you know, I always just like to get into like the most I can into a game when um, jumping in. So I like to play like casual competitive at the very least, even if I'm not gonna like go to tournaments for the game like I do with Digimon. Actually, we forgot to put our rare in the rare pile over there. My bad. And then we uh, so that's our, uh, and then we got ambush tactics. So that's a, that's a funny scene. Then we got off guard punch. Poor Deku, he got sucker punched. Got Acid Fling, oh boy, dodge that. And we got Choosing a Hero Name, so that's another one. Tape Stream Jab, <laughs> that's a really, really... Oh, we got Deku, we got Deku, Midoriya, right, Iz Izuku Midoriya, so we got Deku. That's fun, he's an uncommon. Hopefully we get his XR, because like, come on bro, he's the main character, he deserves to be in a higher rarity than that. But that's really awesome, we finally got to pull him. So like, man, uh, hopefully I, I don't end up building a Deku Focus deck since in our box we're barely pulling him. So we got, ooh, bit of a spoiler there, but we got Training Knife Strike. And then we got, oh, excited for blood, this card's really good, yes. So this card is really good people have been seeing competitive because we read the card, we got response flip. After your rival loses health, gain four health, and then response once returned, lose two health. After your rival loses health, draw one card. 
So that's really good as a utility card from what I'm understanding. And then also like the flavor, you guys know me, if you've seen like my Digimon flavor video was one of like the most, uh, my most viewed recently. I, I love flavor in a card game. And that does a really good accurate representation of like drawing off of someone else's life off of blood, you know, like getting your power off of their blood, like their live stream and stuff like that. So that's awesome. So the XR from what I saw of this card is like really crazy hype. Like people want that card because it's like a really good competitive card in high rarity. Plus it's, it's, um, Tolga, I believe her name is, like she's really popular too. So yeah, it's gonna be a sought after card. So hopefully we can pull the XR of that one. That'd be awesome. I am so sorry, cause I know people are just wincing at how I open packs. They're like, I'm just, I'm just not good at it. <laughs> I'm not much of a box opening tuber, but I did want to be for Digimon. The problem is like the sets just keep getting delayed. So I'm not able to go to pre-release on time and get them early enough for, for box openings. So just go ahead and try to focus here. So we got Graceful Maneuvers. We got Jet Stream Clash. So I think this is the first attack card we got for that guy. And then we got Self Propulsion, League Interview. We're gonna have to start setting up. Check this out, we're gonna have to start setting up two piles of uh, commons and uncommons, because this thing's getting huge. We got that, we got Detonation Launcher. We got First Impressions, which gave me quite the first impression. I think I, I think I already made that joke anyways. We got Mall Day. Ooh, we got a new guy, Tetsu, Tetsu, Tetsu. <laughs> what? That seems like a joke character. He's pretty, he seems fun though. Struggling with study, so like, do we get something cool? Ooh, we got a rare foundation card. Re Revel at his masterpiece. I love that. I love cocky characters in anime, in shonen animes, they're so fun. Bask in his glory. Man, opening packs is just so fun. It's like, you want to pull the secret. You want to get something good, you know? It's like, oh my God. But like, even if I don't know the game, like as long as you know, like what the chase cards, what the hype cards are to get, it's just so fun opening packs. Like even if it's for a game, you're only like tangentially understand. You only know so much about it. We got another manly friendship. Hey, it's Tetsu Tetsu we just pulled, right? So that's pretty sick. Oh, this card's so cute. Confused, enhance, flip, remove one attack from your rival's discard pile and choose one of its keywords. This attack loses that keyword and cannot gain keywords. Interesting. Ooh, holy, Fumikage Tokoyami. Tokoyami looks sick. This art's amazing, I love that. Oh man, Tokoyami's really sick, I love him. And then we got, oh, so this is a card we got on an XR, right? Because I remember this being in a higher rarity earlier. I know we've seen it before, Dragon and Resentment. And then we got, ooh, we got our rare foundation card, Spooky. Enhance, commit, switch the speed and damage of your rival's attacks. The speed and damage, that's interesting. Ooh, I wonder if that's, um, so I don't, know how wildly they vary i do believe like speed is always going to be like a somewhat reasonable number just because you have to block them so i don't know that seems just reading on the card that seems like a gimmick card to me but i'm assuming like maybe that's a nice like reversal card so that's a uh, brutal explosion Ooh, this is a new one right no, no no we've seen this one i think surviving the finals enhance once we turn this attack is minus one speed this dude is such a meme he's like apparently like so hated and then we got full power clash we got going on to fight some villains we got, so who, actually, who was your favorite heroes in the show, guys? Like, um, I am basic, so my favorite hero characters is usually always just the main character. So like, even if I watched more of it, I think my favorite character would still be Deku. But yeah, right now it's just Deku because he's the one I know most about. Cause like, I know so much of his stuff through like memes and stuff and like watching YouTube summaries and stuff like that. Oh, I skipped, my bad. And we got Hitoshi Shinzo. So we got another new hero. It seems like he's got a lot going on there for a character card. And we got another rare foundation, new training method. Response after you build this card, build one foundation from your hand, your hand committed, and then response commit flip as you check the foundation, add it to your hand. Interesting. It's pretty cool for a foundation card. We're nearing the we're nearing the end of this box, but no worry, we got a second one going up soon. So let's see how long uh this video ends up being. I have no idea. We're definitely gonna go through the second box a lot quicker, hoping to pull some secrets and stuff like that. So let's we got another piercing descent, we got tutoring, we got brutal explosion, net gun surprise, high value target. Another one of those down. Ooh, we got confused again. That's always a cute card. I just love the expression. The expression is really adorable. And after that, we got, ooh, we got Tenya Ida. Ida? We got Tenya. That's pretty cool. I know this guy's a popular dude. People think he's really cool. And he looks cool. I love his design. And then we got, we got, ooh, we got an Ultra Rare aiming for number one. I love the art. Everyone getting to show off there. Ultra Rare Hall of Flame looks really nice there too. If you guys can see that. I love all the characters there. <laughs> yeah, I love this dude's face. He's not nearly as confident as everyone else. He's just all worried. That's, that's a fun pull. I'm glad we got to get that. Go ahead and sleeve that up because it's a really nice ultra rare. Want to keep those safe. And then, so I do believe it is six extra rares per pack. So like chance to get those cards and even higher rarity, I believe is the actual target number. So let's see if we get how many uh, we have left. We got Wise Arrow, silly card. Then we got Battle Resolve, Acid Chop, Ricochet Charge, Internship with Best Genius. <laughs> we got Tape Jab Strike, 
we can fix up this pile here before I continue. Then we got that. We got Intimidating Presence. We got... Oh, and we're getting to our last card. Actually, I think we have one more. Okay, so I was off by a bit. But yeah, we got Leaping Right Hook. And then we have... Ooh, Fruit of Our Labors. Enhance. Rival's turn. Remove two discards from your... Disc remove two cards from your card pool. And then... Uh, Deadlock Form. Flip your rival builds one card from their hand face down. Interesting. Cool. So that's a fun. Nice to see more rares. Uh, what, what is going on in that art? I just noticed... <laughs> That is really funny. All right, and then after that, we got... No, all right. Moving on to the next pack. Also, we got Tokoyami, I think is the name. My, uh, sorry if I already forgot it from the previous one. We got White Arrow. So another good card here. We got Rooftop Vintage. We got Dinner Nation Launcher. Trading with Gunhead. Mid-match advertisement. So she's she like a sales pitch. Is that her gimmick? And this is... Oh, so we got something good in the back because there's an extra. So our rare came in early. Box full of babies. Oh, yeah, so I like her technologies. I, she must love her tech. Enhance, once return, draw one card, discard one card, unless your character card is Mei Hatsume. Enhance, commit your tech or weapon attack. If it's from a, ooh, interesting. Nice, okay. And then what we got back here? What do we got back here? Ooh, oh, we got our next art. Yeah! Also, it's the dude from earlier with the mic. Oh, I love the foiling on it too, on the attack. You see like the supersonic waves. Oh, that is sick. I hope that shows up well on camera. I love that foiling. Six, we got an XR there. And speaking of the devil, we were just talking about the XR, so it's really cool we got the other one. Let's go ahead and sleeve that bad boy up. So normally my Gargomon is on screen, not for box openings, but for like my other videos. So I, I need to figure out how to get set up. I need to get like an actual like really good camera and like set it up to just hook it up. Wait, this should be over here to hook it up to my computer and like actually get Gargomon on here during the um during these. We got floating around my babies. We got manly friendship. We got shrapnel. Zoom. Oh, we got a character card. Mina Ashido. We got a character card. I love her designs. Really, I love that it's like like acid inspired since that's apparently like her power. So that's really cool. Man, character cards are really limited per um. Well, I guess they're uncommon, so it kind of makes sense. They're kind of like hard to pull. And then we got small and limber. We got health flame. And for our last card, is this a rare? Ooh, we got another ultra rare. Ooh, giant bite detonation. Nice. Okay, so sweet. Another ultra rare that goes in the sleeve pile. Yeah, what, why is this one different? This one's purple. I gotta get that out of that box then. All right, so that goes there. We are down to the last two packs of this box, but we still got one more to open, so no worries there. We're still so much fun left to go. This is fun just seeing like everybody, because like being like the first introduction to this card game, it's like really get get some really funny like uh, reactions, because it's like I don't know these all too well besides the most basic characters because they're the most popular they get posted often so just seeing the first impression here is, is really interesting sometimes like that first impression card really spooked me really what oh. yo we got toga finally i think this is our second toga so that's really cool if we decide to play her as a deck and i definitely want to start learning to play this game like i just want to like get a basic deck to be able to play with friends as i do have friends to play so it'd be nice to be able to like learn the game with them and then we got a rare foundation we got type Hayaki Fanatic. Ooh, he loves his snacks. I love the eyes. I love like really um, superhero comic book western inspired. A lot of the designs in uh, My Hero Academia is that's really neat. Oops, so I think I may have spoiled it a bit. All right, next pack. Make sure it's focused. We got Dark Shadow Dive, Jeff Shane Clash, Acid Fling, Evade and Copy, Copy Harden, Jewelry. Ooh, we got some of it. We got Todoroki! We got his character card! Finally! Finally! We pull all those attacks from him, we finally get to good Todoroki. I guess you only need one, right? Actually, I was talking about, like, needing multiple, and I made it sound like, but I guess you really do only need one for your deck, right? That's how the game works. I forgot, like, the most basic of things. I don't need multiple of them. And then we got, ooh, we got another rare, but this time we got a rare attack. And, like, this dude is what I'm talking about. Like, look how Mega Man inspired he is in the proportions of his hands and his feet. Like, it's, like they're supposed to be, like, metal, I'm assuming. Like, robotic. So that's pretty sick. So that was the first box. We we got some really cool pulls off it. Like, I'm just happy we got to hit that up. Uh, Oh, that all that uh, seeker rare i i am really grateful we got to hit that that is awesome so before we move on to the box let's go ahead and look at our uh ultra rare or higher pulls so this is including xrs and these dudes look sick i am loving the foiling on these cards i'm glad we got to pull um toga's option or rather i'm a digimon player option her attack and then we do have our secret rare this one is i'm really glad we actually got to pull the secret rare. that's amazing I love that they get a team up card for this secret rare. I love it. If we could pull this in an XR, that would be absolutely unbelievable. Because that card, at least right now, I know it's a pre-sale prices, but that card's like a hundred bucks. So like, man, that'd be crazy to pull. 
All right, so we're moving on to the second box, and thank you again to Legendary Wolf Games. They are super cool, really legit. I even have friends who go there to play, and they backed up the store for me when I was considering the offer. So definitely check out their website. You know, they're called Legendary Wolf Games. You Google it, it'll come up. I'll put a link in the description below. Give them a shout out if you want to like check out their product. They're really sick. And this is set two Crimson Rampage. This is the second set only of the My Hero Academia. So let's see what we got for our box topper and for our quirk packs this time around. So pop this out instead of destroying the hinges like last time. If it'll actually pop for us. There we go. Working together with us. And then, so we're going to put that. So we got our promo XR. And that is going to be this time. Calvary Chariot Advance. Oh, I really like the foiling on it for this. For this. Oh, I like that. The foiling is really neat. I like that. And then we got. Uh, so yeah, this is the XR for our box topper. That's really fun. And then we got the two quirk packs. Which are, which are promo cards. So I'm assuming there's probably other ways to get these. Or maybe this is like um box toppers like digimon where this is the only way to get them like in digimon we have promos for like um old force vitramon decks that our only way to get them was through those so i'm assuming this might be the same where we only get oh sick advice for winners nice we got an all might card i love that that's sick all might is so cool i feel like all might transcends being a casual fan and like an invested fan and stuff like everyone loves all might's like character archetype he's just so hype after that we got oh what's this one learning the standards i don't like it so i didn't uh because i was looking through sets so i don't know how like good the promos are i didn't see too much discussion about those and i didn't look up like how much their their value is right now so all right so this one we're definitely gonna have to go through faster because i think we already hit like the 40 minute mark and we still got a whole second box to go through thank you so much again to the guys who are the legendary wolf games so our first card is going to be floating with my babies that's a fun one creeping my eruption surviving the final internship with east jet Tap streamer, choosing a hero name, health lane javelin, table. Oh, we got Mineta. This is our first character card of him. So yeah, I realize you only need to run one for your character cards. They're, they're like set out right at the beginning of the game. So it makes sense that they're kind of harder to pull per box. So we got that. So then we got, what do we got? Is our first pack in our new box going to be absolutely insane? Can we get something cool? And we got a rare foundation. This is a cool one though. Ooh, defrosted. Me when I have to pull the chicken out when my mom is like five minutes away from home. And I forgot. We got to defrost that chicken. Next pack, we got Graceful Maneuvers, from what I understand is a pretty good foundation card. Then we got Piercing Descent, Battle Resolve, Evading Copy, Intimidating Presence, Drowning in Resentment, we got Leaping Right Hook. And for our rare, we have another rare option for that Mega Man dude. Nice, I love it. All right, so that's our rare, we're gonna set that aside. And then, uh, next pack. I really have to get around to watching the anime. I don't watch a lot of anime in general anymore, unfortunately, because like, I just don't have time for it, especially now that I started up the channel and the channel ended up being way more successful than I ever anticipated. Cause I was just the dude is like, hey, I love Digimon. I love card games. Let me make some videos with friends and stuff like that. And then I just are like, I love video essays. Let me start making video essays. And then the channel just really took off after that. So it's like, I'm really glad I get to do my hobby for fun, but also like people liked it and keep coming back to it. That's, ooh, this is a really sick rare. I almost popped harder than I should have because I didn't. I thought this was like an ultra or something because the foiling is so sick with the art. It works, works really well. So this is just a rare attack card. I thought we had like a higher rarity there for a second. It's really nice. The foiling is really well done on these cards. And honestly, the card stock is really, really cool. Uh, from what I'm feeling here, these cards feel fantastic. This is like Digimon quality. Like compare this to Pokemon. Pokemon, oh man, the card stock is just so flimsy on um on pokemon right now and understandably especially during the pandemic honestly but like even before it's a lot flimsier these cards feel feel really good uh the card stock is great we got rooftop vintage so all cards we've seen before so i think at this point we're just here trying trying to pull some really good xrs <laughs> and uh see how that goes then we got help on javelin go for the win ooh, ooh, we got a rare early finishing blast i like that what's next is it an XR? I, I think it's XRs, right? When it's like that, it wouldn't be an Ultra or something. Ultra would just replace it. Yeah, it's an XR. So that means you get an, ooh, Acid Chop. Okay, cool, cool. Man, oh, there's the foiling again. So that's like the XR rarity. It's like a little circle around it. That's cool. Awesome, awesome. So let's go ahead. All right, let's keep it going with the next pack. Let's keep it going with this next pack. All right, so we got full power clash, tutoring. Ooh, got another nice slice. Hopefully that's a good card because I got so many attack copies of it now. 
We got Detonation Launcher, another one. Ooh, oh, we got Grand Torino. We finally pulled. So I think we pulled one of him earlier, so that's nice to get a second copy. And then we got Small and Limber. I think it's just a rare this time around. Whoa! Did we get a secret rare again? No way! Dropkick Slicer! Holy shit! Oh! We have 10 of those health, perfect level of difficulty. Oh, wow, that's that's great. Enhance, reveal the top three cards of your deck and add all attacks revealed this way to your hand. What? Discard the remaining cards and your rival loses one health for each card discarded this way. This thing. Man, so there's no downside to hitting that enhance ability. That's awesome. Bro, back to back super secret rare pulls in our boxes. Let's go. Oh, are secret rares guaranteed for a box? I do not know that. In Digimon, amazingly, secret rares are not guaranteed because you could like pull double alternate art rare or something like that by accident instead so like you you can get boxes i have pulled boxes in digimon without a secret rare so that is awesome these are the two secret rares in the set the only thing that could possibly make this better is if we pull um is if we pull xrs of one of these because those guys are for like a hundred dollars right now because it's like an even higher rarity above secret rare you already have your secret rare and then you're upgrading it to an even better rarity like yeah no wonder the xr of a secret rare is gonna be so good Man, these packs are really sealed. And these cards are in, like, Target and stuff nowadays. So, like, the game is, like, getting wildly distributed now. It's, it's starting to get, I heard there was, like, problems during the pandemic. But it's getting better now. Like, it's in Targets. It's in Walmarts. And, of course, you can always go to your local LGS. When if you don't have one, definitely remember to check out Legendary Wolf Games. Because, again, thank you so much to them for even making this possible. I'm glad I pulled the Secret Rares. That's so fun opening packs. I, I buy a lot of singles for Digimon. So, getting this opportunity to open packs on the channel, too, is also really fun. We got Stain again, and then we got. Okay, so we got Intimidating Presence, and then we got. Also, we, bam, there's a lot more cards left in the pack than I expected for some reason. And then, ooh, we got another Fighting Spear. So, this is another new card I don't believe we've seen, but a rare foundation. That's nice. How, did, how does the player base of My Hero Academia feel about rare um, foundations? Like, is it like pulling um, a high rarity secret? Secret rare? Uh, energy card in Pokemon is it like oh this is nice but I would have gotten something better uh, full power clash let me know in the comments below tutoring Kirishima failing thrusted kick acid fling the intervention car shuffle leaping right hook force surrender Ooh, and then we got ooh, oh so we got an XR in this pack we got back alley haymaker so I'm glad we pulled a bunch of these because apparently this card is very valuable to competitive and then after that we got Oh, we got an XR of that Shrapnel Cloud release attack we've seen a couple of times. So I don't know if this is a good card, but it's really nice to see that we get the uh, XR of this. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that. But the uh, video's getting kind of long, so I'll just go ahead and cut out the sleeving. Is there an Uraraka uh, character card in this set? I don't remember seeing one when looking at TCG players, so I don't remember off the top of my head. We got Brutal Explosion for our next pack, Unexpected Hero, Zoom, Deep Stream Jab. <laughs> We got high vault target. Oh, we got another Cero. And then, oh, another leaping right hook. And then what do we got? Cheerful uppercut. And we got a rare attack, nice. I love cheerful uppercut. I love that positive attitude. That's adorable. All right, there we go. We go again, we got battle resolve. We got Acid Chop. We've been pulling a lot of that. Hopefully it's a good card in competitive. I would like to make a deck. I am planning to make a deck because I do already have Digimon friends that play this anyways. So it's like, all right, guys, I got packs now. I can play with you dudes. Oh, so there it is. There is a Muraraka card in the set. Awesome. And see, this is what I was talking about because like the, the feet, they're like, maybe there's other animes. I'm sure there's plenty of like Showa era anime or whatever, like the older anime that um probably have that design too because I'm sure Mega Man didn't invent it. But like my understanding of it, like how I found out realized that was even a trend was from Mega Man and seeing that the manga references Mega Man and stuff like that so that's um it just reminds me of that and I love Mega Man X4 is my favorite video game ever so uh oh skipped and then we got uh we already had a new training method but that's awesome that's a rare foundation card so that's fun so we're gonna go ahead and so it gets to the next pack but yeah uh, Mega Man X4 is my favorite video game ever like I've beaten it so many times i literally have lost count of how many times i've beaten the game uh 100 percent of it is one of my favorite games so like to see like there's some homages to mega man all throughout like not just like little references in the manga where the deku is i think it's deku who's talking about wall jumping with mega man x but um not just that but also like in the designs like uraraka's uh legs like that's really sick the armor pieces that she puts on and then we got all right so we got mid-match advertisement. We got, oh, so another Monoma character card. And I think that means we get to our big rare card, see what it's gonna be. And we got, oh, we got a Raraka option. Ultra rare, nice, zero gravity barrier. Dope, I love the art. It's awesome, foiling goes really well. I love when it's like a sheen that enhances the, the art that's already in there. That's always fun. 
And I'm sorry for like the audio quality if it's not up to standards and everything guys, because I definitely like need to upgrade uh, a camera, like I need to get one. There's one I've been meaning to, uh, to get, but like, um, right now it's like Digimon regional season. I'm planning flights. I'm buying pre-release packs for, um, boxes or whatever for Digimon set eight. So it's kind of like a hard time right now, financially. I got a budget stuff, but I do want to get a camera to upgrade this, get better sound. Oh, is this the, f no, we've pulled this before, right? Well, I'm getting, I'm glad we got preset mic either ways. And then we got successful sales pitch, uncommon, and we got, oh, there's more cards than I expected. Okay, so what do we have here? Also another box full of babies. Cool, so we're a rare, so, I don't remember at the top of my head what the green cards are. Does it mention it anywhere? Because I know uh, the gray is like foundation, orange is the attack cards, and then you got your hero cards. Unfortunately, I don't remember what the green ones are. Something related to the stage? I can't remember off the top of my head, unfortunately. Like, it didn't come up in the tutorial I was watching, I don't I don't think, because I was watching like a couple how to play tutorials, so maybe that's like a newer mechanic that was introduced. We got that sick art, that sick, that sick dark art that looks really Sinister. Oh, so that's the normal version of the XR we pulled. So that's one of the cool things about this card game. I do like that any card has, well, a lot of cards. I'm not too sure off the top of my head if it's any, but I do like that they give you that chance to upgrade. Ooh, we got Endeavor. That's sick. I love his name. That's a cool name for a hero. That's so sick. We got Struggling with Studies. I hope she gets better soon. I hope she, like, under retains her information. She's been struggling a lot now. Ooh, this is a sick ultra rare. Nice. Confident Counter Strike. Oh, I love the art, the guys. Toradorki. Todoroki and uh, Deku fighting like that, awesome. I love that the smoke coming off their attacks colliding is, um, is, um, is hollow foiled like that. That's where the foil effect is. Training with Gunhead, Ricochet Charge. Do you guys like, like the anime or the manga better? Like where would be a good place to start if I really wanted to like get into it? Cause like I've seen clips and the animation is Gorgeous on some fights, but like, do you recommend just like going through the manga? I know it's farther ahead, but I don't mind. <gasps> oh, sweet! We got another excited from Blood Fantastic! So that's a really good card in, in the competitive foundation. Uh, so that's really awesome. Definitely gotta sleeve that up. To be fair, right now, like from what I'm looking, this card is good, but in terms of price, like from what I'm seeing, these are pre release prices. So, um,. So I'm sure the price is just a little inflated right now because it's pre-release, people want to get their cards early and stuff like that. So it's not the most accurate measure of the card price. I'm sure it'll go down after pre-release. But I'm glad we pulled it, that's really sick. And we got that, we got that, we got Piercing Descent. Ooh, another little Raraka card. Oh, we got First Impressions, nice slice. Ooh, we got a popular card, nice, awesome character card. I'm glad we can play him. Another struggling with studies, man. She's like the uh, lo-fi hip-hop girl while we're studying. Health Flame Javelin, and we got Defrosted, which we pulled earlier. Was this the first rare in this box, I think we pulled? Yeah, but this is like halfway through the second box, a little more than half, so we're gonna be start hitting some like some repeats at this point, and that's totally fine. Cause there's like some cool cards in here. I like the like wife arrow. That's pretty funny. We got internship with beat. We got overhead reversal, zoom. Training Knife Strike, Intimidating. Ooh, we got another total character card. That's really nice. And then we got, oh, we got a rare foundation card, Fighting Spirit. Flip, after your rival plays a non character ability that reduces the damage of an attack, cancel it. Oh, wow. For a foundation? That seems pretty good, right? That seems pretty good to me on paper, but like my understanding of the game from a competitive aspect is um is pretty uh is pretty very basic, very basic. I don't know if there's any locals for this game nearby either. Like I, I'm sure there's interest for it. I just gonna have to like look out for it. We got off guard punch, we got self propulsion, copy hard, knife slice, training with gun. Oh, let's not spoil it. We're gonna get a really hype ultra again. We got tape fight. And we got that, we got cavalry, and we have. Oh, that's another rare that we pulled earlier. That's a fun one. He's enjoying his little snack there. It's really funny because I don't have like a lot of context to what a lot of these cards are referencing. I have some context and I can make out like a lot of the other context, but like. A lot of it is going to be lost on me, so stuff like that guy eating his fish snack is like really funny. And uh, the stuff like the first impression card that freaked me out earlier was hilarious. Better Nation Launcher, Evading Copies, a really sick foundation. Then we got Mid Mesh Advertisement. Whoa, Hero Killer, and it's a rare. Man, that's a sick card. Stain is really cool. And then we got, so this is a rare, which means we got an XR. Oh man, let's hope it's a really good XR. Can we get Hungry for Blood? Ooh, we got any means necessary in an XR. That's pretty sick too. Oh, nice. I like it. 
Man, that's, that is just some intense artwork from that scene in the anime. I love it. So then we're going to go ahead and get to our next pack to keep going through this since we're almost at the hour mark. Which makes sense. We're opening two boxes here, so definitely appreciative of that. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. Making a stand for review sick art. We got Battle Resolve. We got Half Fire Ignition. Reversal. Double Blade. High Value Target. Ooh, we got Stain Character Card again, so that's awesome. And then we got Leaping Right Hook. And then we got Hottest Performance Guaranteed once again. And what do we get? Oh, sweet. We got an Ultra Rare. Nice. Blue Flame Spiral. So this is one of the villains from what I understand. Because he was with Toga in that other card art we have. So this is awesome. Nice. So I believe that guy's name is Dobby. Correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. So it's like, it's season two heroes. Because like most I've seen is mostly season. Not season I'm not sure if it's like season two, quote unquote. But like I know it's like like a separation from when those guys come in. So this is uh, Creepy Mine. We got... Bounce. We got Half Pot Ignition, Double Blade, we got Ice Climb, Acid. Ooh, there he is, Dobby. So I was right about that. And then we got Any Means Necessary. We just pulled it in the XR. That's awesome. We got Malde. And then for our rare or higher, we got. Oh, we got an Ultra Rare again. Slashing Whirlwind. Sick. Nice. That is awesome. Oh my god. Oops. Awesome. We got two Ultra Rares back to back then, didn't we? Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my god. Two attack Ultra Rares back to back. You love to see it. So let's go ahead and move on to our next pack. We're, we're rushing through these last ones for sure because we've seen like a lot of the set now. We've got mainly the hype here left is for the ultra rares or higher. And then the rares too. It's really fun to see what we get out of the rare packs. That's also cool. We got also oh, we got old man. We got wire arrow. We got first impression, double fate slash, rooftop vantage, forced surrender. We got training next sessions. Oh, and then we got another rare, which is great brush. Oh, which means we got an extra. No way. Don't be back to back. Oh, sick, yo! This card is amazing! To, uh, the, the foil patterning! Oh my god, foil pattern! Foil patterning in the background, that's so cute! I love that, it's really pretty! That's awesome! Acid Corrosion Breach, Alt XR, nice, that's awesome! Wow, I'm really glad we pulled that, wow! I, I, I'm pretty sure we pulled this card earlier from what I vaguely remember, I could be wrong, but I vaguely remember pulling this earlier, and man, the extra the patterns that they add to the background of the extra really makes a difference to make this card and the art pop. That is awesome. Wow. I'm glad we pulled that XR. That was a sick one. So it looks like we have three packs left, four packs from what I'm seeing in the box. So we're definitely nearing the end of this journey. This has been a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys play My Hero Academia or if you're interested in it or what's like your opinion on the game, what's your opinion on the anime. Because I don't know if I'll make like gameplay content, but like having another game to just be able to play with friends and not having to worry about making content on it is really, really nice, honestly. Not that I dislike it, of course. Like, I love doing this. I'm doing it for fun and it just happened to be successful. So like, if I wasn't enjoying it, I wouldn't do it. But then like, um, doing it for multiple games is going to be a hard schedule to keep up is all. And then we got for our rare or higher, we got a rare awesome Cinder. Man, I wish we could get this in an XR. That deserves a higher, higher, higher foil pattern. Pattern, pattern, pattern. I don't think patterning is a word. <laughs> Battle resolve. Ask chop again. All day. Ooh, we got Tetsu again. We got struggling again. I hope it's a good foundation card. Hey, let me put ready, set, go again. So I'm not sure what the blues are because I didn't see that in the tutorial I watched either. I'm assuming they're like. Are they like special foundation cards? I'm not too sure. Either way, that's a, a nice rare card there. So it's really cool. You're guaranteed a rare or higher in each um, pack. And then like if you get an extra rare, it doesn't even replace your rare. So that's really awesome. So we got Justin Clash. We got that. We got Half Auto Mission, Manly Friendship, so Shrapnel, Zoom, Any Means Necessary, Confused. Oh, we got another hero card. I feel like when you get a hero card, you usually get like a really like it's just been a coincidence. I feel like you get a really good follow up. And then we got a rare. And it's one we got before, Final Exam Gut Punch. So it is just a coincidence. And then we got Final Pack. Can we get that Last Pack Magic on this thing? Last Pack Magic on this. It's been really amazing box pull so far. Between the uh, getting that Ultra Rare we wanted, the Hungry for Blood, and getting both of the Super Rares, or rather the Secret Rares in the set, it's incredible. We got Self uh, Propulsion. Oh, we got that. We got Surviving the Final Exam. We got Tape Jet Stream. We got Interview League. Ooh, Detonation Launcher again. We got go for the win, drowning in resentment. Ooh, we got Midoriya. What do we got for that? Ooh, yes, we ended on an ultra rare. Let's go. We go on a high note. Man, I love that art. Check out the fresh kicks. I love that. Electro electromagnetic stomp. That's sick. I love that. So that is going to be the video, guys. This was the box opening. So let's go ahead and like sort out our amazing pulls for this set. 
So we got some pretty amazing pulls and that last box was really great with the ultras we hit. We got some good ones for like almost every character. There was some really fun ones in here. This one is a rare, didn't mean to put it in there, but then we go with the, back to the ultra rares. We got Dobby in there. We got the XRs. We got some other cool stuff in here. Really good XRs there. And then we have our ultra rares or higher that we hit. A little bit of glare there. Let me see if that uh, helps a little bit. But yeah, we got our ultra rares or higher. We got double Hungry for Blood. So that's always fantastic to get a high rarity competitive card. Glad we were able to pull two of these. And we got both of the secret rares. I was really hoping to hit these in the XR rarity. So that means like they're even rarer than secret rare. But I am very happy that we got to pull both of the secrets in the set. This is so sick. Um, amazing we had some really good pulls i feel like here I'm really happy with our pulls and thank you so much again to legendary wolf games thank you for all of you guys for watching this and making this possible like i'm not going to be here if you guys weren't here supporting every step along the way so thank you so much sincerely but yeah uh this was the video i'm sorry if this is a little rough around the edges for a box opening since i'm not too used to doing them either way this was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it i hope you guys did too let me know everything i could do to make this better next time i'll definitely try to get gargomon on the screen next time and until then remember to stay hungry until you get a taste of victory